Hello everybody, this is Chris and Team and welcome back to Might and Magic 6. So, we're reaching the end of our adventure actually. <laughs> uh, we did a lot of things, we pretty much got favor of the High Council to see the Oracle, we've defeated a lot of dangerous enemies, uh, we ventured into different dungeons to get the memory crystals, we even got the control cube from the Tomb of Varn, and now we're fully equipped with laser rifles. Uh, it just feels weird saying that, to be honest, no matter at which point in the ga in game I am. There is one thing, however, that we haven't done yet, and I want to do that before we wrap up the game. And what I want to do is, I want to do I want to find all the obelisks and I want to do the obelisk puzzle. So I know we already reached the obelisk in New Sorpagal, so I'm not going to bother with that one. But we're going to be flying uh, through all the different regions of the game and basically getting the... Uh, basically touching the obelisks and getting all the instructions that we need. Now I don't have them... I can't remember where, uh, where, you know, uh, where they actually are, where the specific uh, the specific ones are. I, for example, I don't know where obelisk number three is and number six and seven, etc. So we are basically just going to be visiting all the different regions in this world and finding the obelisks and then just touching them because we need to actually have. Uh, all the obelisk messages. Uh, we actually have to obtain all the obelisk messages before we can do the puzzle, and not because we have to do the puzzle, but because even if you know what the puzzle is, uh, you won't actually be able to obtain the sweet, sweet loot hidden behind the obelisks if you don't reach all of them. So, this is gonna be the third one. I'm glad I actually found him so soon. I mean, I knew it was around here somewhere as I blast these guys into in the face. Different kind of blast this time. I used to blast with the uh, fire blast spell. I'm using blasters. <sighs> Weird, huh? How things pan out. You start the game using bows and knives and you end the game using laser rifles. So, Dragon Sand. And there is the... Uh, obelisk right there. And then just quickly run away. So yeah, I didn't actually clear it out. As you can see, I didn't even bother picking up all the uh, all the corpses. Which I guess is a shame, because I could have picked up some more relics, but... I was in a good mood, so... I just let them there. And I also let them live. So Hermit Sile is in the next one. I wonder where the obelisk in Hermit's Isle is. I haven't really explored Hermit's Isle, and I guess I could... I could have actually cleared it out when I was doing the uh, grinding, because as I see it's filled with Hydras and Titans. No dragons. And I guess it would have been well, marginally easier to clear these guys out. Oh, there's the obelisk. There we go. So what we did now is, we went to New Sorpigal and we basically traveled east all the time. And the map, like the whole game, uh, is divided into 15 regions and they're basically arranged in a 5x3 square. So we started at the easternmost uh, region and now we went to the westernmost region. Now we're gonna go north up a region and we're gonna go east backwards. So okay, we started New Sorpical and then we went west all the way, now we're gonna go north and east all the way and then we're gonna go north again and then west all the way. Uh, it's just so we make sure that we don't miss a single uh, we don't miss a single obelisk. Although I do think we actually have the obelisk in here already. <laughs> Since this is Paradise Valley. This place was filled with uh, with uh, titans and hydras and even dragons at some point uh, in some uh, areas but i basically committed you know genocide 
But you know what? In my defense, in my honest defense, uh, the Titans were jerks, the Hydras are dangerous to keep as pets, and the Dragons, well, they're a bunch of... They're a bunch of assholes. So yeah, I don't feel bad about doing that. Plus the village will be safer now. Well, Blackshire... <laughs> we're just peppering them with shots every now and then. We can actually kill the narrow elemental there. And I think that east from this is actually Freehaven. Yeah, it is. Nice. Ooh, the obelisk. Nice. So fly. And I'm creating food because I don't want my characters to be weakened all the time. But I seem to forget uh, to do it more often than not. And the, f the create food spell works uh, up to a cap. I can create six food and that's it. So where's the obelisk? It's probably around somewhere here, right? I think this is the obelisk. No, this is a uh, shrine. Nope, nothing will happen when I pray. At that particular shrine. So when, oh wait, I remember where the obelisk is. It's next to the Hall of the Fire Lord, which means we've probably actually visited it, but you know what? Let's make sure. Uh, remember when these guys were actually giving us trouble? Yeah, this is just how far we've gotten. And I'm actually gonna town portal to Mist at this point because we need to go to Mist uh, via boat anyway. Shrine of Intellect, nope. And I think the obelisk is here. Come on. This is without the haze buff. This is my attack speed without the haze buff. Wow. And I'm even walking, which normally would sort of increase my recovery penalty. <sighs> Insane. Okay, so next we have to go to Silver Cove. And Silver Cove's obeliscus. I think it's somewhere here or here, or somewhere like that. I think it's around the city. Oh yeah, and the good thing about these uh, blaster rifles is they also hit the physical damage immune enemies. Because I think I already mentioned this, but the blasters actually have an unaffili unaffiliated damage type. So basically no monsters are immune to it. I guess it has to do with the coding, because uh, the devils and the hive are actually immune to all the... To all other sources of damage. I'm not sure if all the devils in the hive are immune to them or just the devil queen. The sort of final boss that we need to kill. So yeah, I guess I was missing this obelisk for sure because I haven't found it yet. Hmm. I wonder where it is. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I was most certainly missing this one. So let's see. Auto notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. S okay, so we're missing seven, but we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So, okay, we're only missing one more. Um. No, we're. Hmm. It's probably on ill-infested waters, actually. So let me just go and travel there. We need to go there by boat, though. And I'm, it, we're probably missing that one. I'm not entirely sure, but that could be the case. And if we're not missing that one, it's probably, you know, White Cap or Creek Spire. What? What? Why are you hissing at me? <sighs> Seriously. Yeah, 
this is one person's cooldown with the blaster. Nice. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Finally. Uh, fly. Oh, there it is. And now let's go to White Cap. Let me just check if I have all of them now. Nope. We're missing one. It's probably either Krieg Spire or... Or... Uh, or this place, actually. It could be this place, actually, because I don't remember touching this one. Let's see. Yeah, that was it. So we now have all of them. And now it's the puzzle solving time. So I'm just going to teleport somewhere where it's safe. Let me see. So the way you basically solve this puzzle, and you see you have a bunch of, um, bunch of letters that don't mean anything. What you have to do is take the messages and take the first letter from each obelisk and you basically write them down or you just or in other words you basically read the first letter of every uh, of every obelisk and then the second one and third one and you basically get a message and this one says in the land of the dragon land of the dragon in the land of the dragon the is it what it's no it's two wow i would actually need to transcribe that but it has something to do with uh dragon sand now i'm just gonna i'm just going to see if I already have the obelisk puzzle basically there because I, I don't I can't remember what it says you know like by heart but I do know the location of it however I'm not sure if there's a, a specific date where uh, when I have to go there so let me just go check and check out the dragon sand I'll just rest a bit first what time it is it's 2 p.m. Now I'm gonna cast the buffs because I I think that the uh, I think that the place uh, isn't too well guarded, but I think there's still some uh, nasties around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna you know slowly fly over and clear things out on the way. Okay, and I think this is the chest. Yeah, this was it. And this is the prize you get for finishing the obelisk quest. You get 250,000 gold pieces. And you get Dark Containment, which is the quote-unquote best uh, dark magic spell. Um, and you get Divine Intervention, which is the best light magic spell, or the highest tier. And you also get access to Igrain and Guinevere, which means we're actually going to have two Igrains. And you also get Morgan, and Morgan is the of fire, air, water, and earth magic uh, thing, uh, amulet, relic, whatever. So Guinevere and Igrain both go to my cleric. Generate spell points. I think I have yeah. Spirit spells, you can get Igrain. And I'm gonna put this ring on my sorcerer just so I have my light spells buffed a bit. 
That's pretty much it. That was the the obelisk puzzle. Now here's a funny uh, thing. When back when this game came out, there was you know games nowadays they basically come out and if they're you know finished and working properly you're basically glad but if they're not well you still have you know patches and things now to be honest some patches did come for this game um, they were available on the internet and i think that they basically re-released the game in a patched up state but before they did you were actually able and i remember this because i uh, <laughs> i abused this when i was a uh, when i was a kid Every, each time you opened this rock, you basically got the 250,000 gold pieces. Um, so yeah, there's, this is a nice piece of uh, trivia for you. Oh, if it ever happens that you cannot reach a body because it's uh, out of bounds of the map, remember you have a cleric that can cast telekinesis and you can just as easily get it. So yeah. That's another use of the telekinesis spell. Oh, there's another one there. Oh. Armor class. Meh. So we pretty much fin finished the obelisk quest uh, as well. It wasn't hard and um, maybe... Uh, maybe I'll transcribe it uh, in between the episodes and I'll just read it out so you know what it was and what it says but it's not a difficult puzzle it basically tells you where to go um, I'm just glad that it doesn't have a time affiliated with it because that's what Mind Magic 7 does spoilers a bit but not much to be honest uh, you have to go to a certain place at a certain time and uh, even a certain date I think let me just go to New Sorpical because we basically finished this episode up. This is what I wanted to do before we pretty much end the game. That was just that, that was just you know one of those things I had to do because we, so far we finished. I think we finished every quest in the game, actually. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think we've missed any of them. So yeah, that was that's quite an accomplishment, I think. Because it is, you know, it is a large game, and if you're tackling it the first time, you know, w without any prior knowledge, like, well, n exactly opposite to what I'm doing just now, um, you actually have a lot to explore, a lot to discover, a lot to learn as well, um, you know, lore-wise, mechanics-wise, and everything. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much at the end uh, at the moment, so, guys... I was Chris and Team. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye!